Hi there, I'm Coach Todd with 49ers EDU, where we bring football to life through STEAM. We show you how subjects like math and technology serve as tools to help solve problems. And I'm here to give you the inside scoop to get you ahead of the game. For this lesson, SAP joined our team as a STEAM champion to help us understand the significant role data and technology play in our lives and in the game of football. Our goal in this video is to connect data and technology and get you thinking about how what we see in our lives relates to the topics that you practice in the classroom. Let's start by understanding some key terms. Our first term is technology. Technology is the study and application of knowledge for practical purposes, or simply tools that can be used for a specific purpose. Living in the modern world, we often associate technology with devices that have screens, but it really applies to any tool from a pencil to a football helmet to the device you're using to watch this. Fun fact, technology can be products, systems, or environments too. And we have an amazing, one-of-a-kind system at Levi's Stadium, created in collaboration with our partners at SAP, that I wanna let you know about, and will by first understanding what came before it. As I record this, we are celebrating the 49ers 75th anniversary. So 75 years ago when the 49ers began playing at Kizar Stadium, we took attendance by ripping tickets in half and counting each stub after everyone had entered. This system is an example of technology. It serves the purpose of ensuring we don't overcrowd the building, we're letting in only people who have paid, and we're getting a count of how many people are in attendance. We're collecting data that will help us make decisions in the future, while accounting for safety measures like capacity and structural integrity. Consider this. Why don't we rip and count tickets at Levi's Stadium? Is it just about the new location, or did something else drive the change? Pause here and discuss. Our next term is feedback. Feedback is data or information taken as a reaction to a product or experience. Maybe you've given a rating or review online before. This feedback gets compiled by researchers into information they use to make improvements for the next product or set of products they make. Each individual piece of feedback given is a building block in the process of development and improvement. Think about the iterative or cyclical nature of the engineering design process, a never-ending series of progress and advancement. Take our ticket counting system for example. Imagine being a ticket counter. You're responsible for counting thousands of tickets every game. You might start to wonder when someone would invent something to improve your situation, giving feedback about what you go through. Or if not, Try to figure something out yourself. Consider this. Was other technology available in the 1940s that would make this job more efficient? Then imagine the technology that exists today. What would you want to use if you were responsible for taking attendance for so many people? By the time the 49ers moved to Candlestick Park, ticket ripping was replaced by a clicker counter. They were easier and more efficient than the old process, giving a reliable count without having to go back and recount ticket stubs to verify. We would also see the use of turnstiles at Candlestick, which automatically counted each fan as they walked through it as their tickets were checked. Now we have information sooner rather than later, which aids in decision making, both allowing for quicker decisions and increased confidence in them. Our next term is design thinking. Design thinking is a creative process for problem solving. It's non-linear and iterative, meaning you can move between steps and repeat them as necessary. It's used by creative teams to understand their consumers or users to make improvements to their products or create entirely new ones. This is a next step to the engineering design process I mentioned before. Imagine you have a project to complete for class. The engineering design process will outline a problem and your criteria and constraints, which are a great guide for how to complete it. But to go a step further, you can implement design thinking to consider your audience, your teacher, your family, your classmates, or community. If you gear certain aspects to their likes, whether that's content, design, or anything else, you're going to have a better chance of getting good reviews or good grades. Customers give feedback to creators who make items that improve our lives. And that brings us to the system that I want to tell you about. And I'll highlight some of the improvements that it helped us make. The 49ers partnered with SAP, a major Bay Area data company, to create the Executive Huddle, a computer tabulating center that sorts, processes, and defines data on site. We use connections to modern technology like smart devices to keep track of attendance by scanning mobile tickets. When scanned, Executive Huddle counts each person who enters the stadium, and where they entered, and where their seats are, and records data like time, date, and the weather in the moment. And it uses this information and more 
to compare to future games, which helps us make decisions. For example, if the data is telling us that 30% more cars parked in the first hour, we can make decisions about how to staff the entry gates and the concession stands related to where those ticket holders are expected to enter, which ends up improving their experience without them even knowing. Before we had the executive huddle, the only way to get feedback like this from fans was by asking them directly, in person, through mail, or email with surveys. But executive huddle can take constructive feedback and address it in real time to improve the fans' experience. And in addition to attendance, we can monitor parking, retail, concessions, and a scale of fan satisfaction. So we see feedback both improving technology and inspiring new uses or completely new inventions. And this is what happens with so many products. Feedback is given and changes are made. For our activity, I want to know how you would improve the game day experience for fans. Take what we learned from our key terms and make an improvement to the live experience at a football game. The live experience competes with watching a game from home. So talk in a group or with your family about the pros and cons of going to a live event. Take out a piece of paper and make a list. Now identify some of the cons or problems. Why are those cons? Explore each idea and consider how some could be improved with the use of technology. Again, talk these ideas through with others and select an approach to solve. When you've decided on an aspect of being at a live event that you can improve, consider design thinking and an audience or group of people that you can address with your invention. Individuals with special needs, young children, pet owners, and so on. All fans have different needs or wants to consider. So what can you come up with? And what kind of technology can help address the problem? Finally, draw your invention and label it. What does it do? How does it work? Whatever you can come up with. And don't forget to highlight what makes it special for your audience. Then even try and present it. See what people think of it. And understand, no matter what step you reach in this process, you've made a contribution. Just having an idea is an accomplishment. Coming up with an idea like this is fun, but it can also lead to a career in technology. If you like this kind of thinking, this kind of project, you might love a job in STEAM someday. Develop your skills enough and you can find yourself at SAP in the near future. I hope you learned something new from this lesson and are inspired to concentrate on STEAM subjects in the future. It's always great to hear what students come up with, so please feel free to share your ideas with us at 49ers Community on social media or use hashtag Steam49ers. Be sure to look out for more from 49ers EDU. Take care and go Niners!